What do you think will help foster interoperability between these three different Hyperledger frameworks? So there's a number of things that we can do to assist uh, in the interoperability between the different projects at Hyperledger. Um, one thing we're working on is kind of an overall architectural view of all the different projects, right? What are the technologies that sit at kind of the DLT layer, at the smart contract layer? Where does identity sit in, right? Um, and then uh, we can start to look at these projects and go, okay, could we put Fabric down here? Could we put Burrow up here? Um, maybe we start to tease apart the distributed ledger part of Fabric from the smart contract part of Fabric, right, into separate components so that when somebody new arrives at the project or they take a training course like this, they can start to pick and choose, you know, as building blocks as appropriate for whatever use case that they want to target, right? Um, uh, and so that's, that's something over time, this kind of modularity approach along with that, defining standardized APIs between these different levels, right? Uh, so that we can get to an ideal where you could pick the Ethereum virtual machine from Burrow and run that on top of uh, Fabric or on top of Sawtooth. And in fact, the Sawtooth and Burrow communities have now actually progressed and you can now run Ethereum smart contracts on top of Sawtooth, which is pretty cool. Um, so I think we'll see more activity like that.